In the wild, males don't get involved with raising the cubs. But here, five-year-old Tanar has shown an unusual interest in Dharma and vice versa. Dharma is about six months old now. She's grown up next to dad, so he's very much aware of her being here. They have had a lot of mesh-to-mesh -mesh contact and she seems to be quite a big daddy's girl. She does seem to enjoy being near him and he'll come over to her and they speak to each other. Um, you know, they have what's called a chuff, which is basically a friendly greeting for a tiger. So you have the safety that the, the mesh is there, but there's enough close proximity that they can smell each other and really get a good interaction going before they actually meet in person. Preparations will soon get underway to introduce Mum Durga, Dad Dinar and Cub Dharma into the same enclosure. The herd is now made up of Thai's children and grandchildren. Two of the youngest are Harry and Bala. There's only a couple of months between them age-wise, so they've kind of grown up together from day one. Bala has always been a bit bigger than Harry, which also works quite well, because he wants to do all this rough play and push her around, which works quite well, because she's got a little bit of extra weight on him. Ty had a new baby a few days ago called Nandita. So Harry and Bala are no longer the youngest. Harry is still making his mind up about the new addition. A similar situation to when, when you know a family brings a new baby home. Um, you know Harry is still getting suckled off his mum. Now this new baby's come along. All the adult females are interested in the new baby, and they're, they're all suckling him. That means he's getting his attention. baby usually brings out the maternal instincts amongst the females in the herd, and they join together to look after it. But so far, the young female Bala hasn't seemed interested. She'll be glued to that calf within a couple of weeks, hopefully. But we have to watch that. We have to make sure that's, that's going OK. The Highway family needs skilled mothers more than ever as two of their young recently died from a virus. A major setback for the breeding programme. Our herd's under pressure. You know, we, we need to breed these elephants and, and to get a successful, sustainable population. Bala is the future of, of our breeding herd. Napo and Goshi have been cohabiting for the last four years. They are jaguars, although Goshi is sometimes known as the Black Panther. You'll often hear people say, oh, a panther. Panther isn't actually a real thing. It's just a generic term for black cat. If the sun's shining on her, you can actually see she does have the rosette patterns like Napo. Um, she just is black. Napo and Goshi were carefully matched, brought together from different zoos after being identified as genetically compatible. But so far, the zoo haven't been allowed to breed them, as numbers in zoos across Europe have been too high. We can't keep popping out babies all over the place. We need to know uh, where they're going to go and make sure we've got nice homes for them. But now, um, lots of cubs have been moved on and there's a lot more space out there, so uh, we have now got a recommendation to breed. It's just kind of a bit of a waiting game now, and they've, they've got to do the job. Before that can happen, keepers have to wait for Napo's contraceptive device to expire. That's been lowering his sperm production for the last two years. You'd look at him and you think, he's you know, big and strong and very impressive looking. But when it comes down to it, he's... He's just a big softy, really. 
Goshi very much wears the trousers in this relationship. For Goshi to accept him as a mate, he's got to become more dominant. Goshi certainly wants the biggest, strongest, fiercest jaguar out there. You know, she wants the best genes possible for her cubs. So she's not going to go for the, for the soppy, lazy, can't be bothered male. Napo definitely needs to man up a little bit. Coming in. Singer. Ah, yeah. You're coming down, Sing. Singer. This time, keepers reintroduce Matra to the other cheetahs one at a time, starting with Singer. Right then, pull them two together and see what happens. Good lads. It's all right. OK, we'll um, open up the slides so that they can go all together and we'll mix them with Berber. Keepers will reintroduce Berber to Matra outside. Oh, good lads. Good boy, Burb. Did you see when they first came out? Matra came out and Burba just came and started following him nose to butt. It appears yesterday's issue with Matra is forgotten. We left Matra with access to the little sand run, which is between the house and the paddock, and they could get right up to each other, nose to nose, smell each other, uh, vocalise with each other. So they were probably all night been making friends again, and that's why the mix this morning has gone quite well. And the brothers seem to be making up for their grumpy behaviour towards the outsider. It's something that we just have to watch play out, and we'll just kind of judge it as we go along, whether they're going to be all right or whether we might need to intervene. So we'll just see. But there's been a mixed reception to Tombol's newfound independence. Tombol has become obsessed with the gibbons. It's just kind of typical little baby, really. If there's anything to grab and grab hold of and play with, then that, that's what he wants to do. It's like, can I put this in my mouth? Can I grab hold of this? Can I pull this? Despite his testing behaviour, Mum Gromit seems to be developing affection for little Tombow. I think Gromit, although, yeah, a completely different species, she just has this really strong maternal instinct. You can see so she wants to reach out and touch him, and if he does pull her hair too tight or, yeah, sort of lands on top of her a little bit, she isn't at all phased or shows any aggression towards him. But for 17-year-old son Alfie, in his physical prime, it's a different story. Alfie is this adult male gibbon who, yeah, is really strong, um, so he could be overly rough with Tombol. He has got that little bit more of an aggressive streak in him. So Sariki keeps a bit of a closer eye on Alfie, and I think Alfie is aware of this and doesn't like to push his luck too much. They're always quite close. It's only a few metres between Sariki and Tombol. So if Sariki thinks that there is an issue, then she can react and drag him to safety. You have to keep a close eye on the relationship between Sariki, Tombol and the Gibbons, just because Obviously, the Gibbons are really strong. You just, you just don't know if one of them's feeling a bit ill one day, if like, suddenly someone's suddenly upset or someone's a bit angry, that personality could change. You just can't predict what they are going to do. Baby orangutan Tombol is also thriving. As the months are going on, you see his character developing more now, and he doesn't seem quite a confident little chap, quite, like, chilled out, and he doesn't seem too phased by things. Hi. 
morning, guys. Hello, Tombow. Now eight months old, Tombow's increasing maturity seems to have improved relations with the gibbons. There's definitely a bond there between Tombow and the gibbons. I don't know how he really sees them. I don't know whether he sees them as friends or his like extended family, but they ha he has a lovely relationship with them at the moment. Even Mum Suriki seems to approve of the friendship. It's really quite sweet. There's, um, there's been lots of nice interactions. And Suriki allowing that to happen, which is probably the more unusual aspect to it. Suriki could have freaked out, but she hasn't done that. She's just been, OK, it's a gibbon. Yeah, no problem. Um, and therefore, you've got this nice relationship building up between the Gibbons and Tombow. And I'm quite confident in those friendly, playful interactions will just develop as he gets older. I think you feel a sense of pride where this adorable little orangutan will grow up to be this amazing looking adult male orangutan who will then go on to have his own offspring. It's just amazing to think, you know, years and years will go and that line will carry on.